Welcome back YouTubers, Aaron Ail coming at you with another video. This is my Red Ranger comparison. Um, I know there's probably millions of people out there that have done one of these. Um, but, uh, you know, there's it doesn't hurt to have one more just in case people aren't able to see those videos either. So, um, I went ahead and did one. Um, I have two helmets here. Uh, the one on the right is a model for hobby helmet. And the one on the left is a Anarchy Original. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and compare the two helmets. Let you know which one is the uh, best, which one is the one you want to avoid. Um, each one has a, each one's has upsides and downsides. Um, and I will get into that. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the Model for Hobby mold. Which is this guy right here. This helmet, uh, this is the first helmet I bought. I bought it off of uh, eBay um, through Model for Hobby directly. Um, you can also get it uh, off of Color Suits, apparently, uh, for about 200, 290 bucks. I got it for a little over 300 because uh, I went right through Model for Hobby directly. And I believe they're out of Thailand. Um, so I probably had to pay a little bit more for it. But, um, yeah, so here we go, uh, model for hobby, this is, right off the bat you could tell that the helmet is fairly big, um, it looks very big and bulky, uh, basically if you put it on, um, if you don't have the neck of a walrus, it looks really funny on you, <laughs> because it's that big, um, and... The, um, I mean, the inside is great. I like the padding. I'll get into all that. Uh, the padding's good. I mean, don't get me wrong. The padding is great. Um, but because of all the padding, there's no way to breathe. And again, I'll get into that as well. Um, but first things first, we'll take a look at the side here. Now, this helmet is really, really practically broken, broken to smithereens here. Uh, maybe not so much on this side, but you'll see it on the other side. Um, but here is the a side view of it. Um, as you can see, there aren't any clamps. There are not, no clasps on the outside. They're actually inside, which actually is accurate um, if you're comparing it to the original Z Ranger show, where they did have the clasps in the inside. So they do have something that's screen accurate in terms of that, in terms of the clamps and clasps. Um, other than that, that's about the only thing that's screen accurate. Um, uh, they did a, I, I gotta say, the paint job is good. I mean, for, for low quality, the paint job is actually pretty good. Um, I mean, I mean, it did, they did a pretty good job with the paint. Uh, you know, the, the teeth looked pretty cool and, you know, they did a very good, it looked like they, looks like they airbrushed, did a lot of airbrushing on it. Um. You can kind of tell, like, the just the way it looks, like the streaks and stuff kind of look like it was airbrushed more so than anything. Uh, but, yeah, so it's, it's a nice, it's a nice paint job. Um, that is, that is a plus. Um, another bad thing about it, though, is the, the material is very cheap. Very, very, very cheap material. Um... Which is why a lot of people do not recommend this helmet. It is it 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 is a good helmet if you're on a budget. It's like a cheaper cheaper end of a helmet, and I know a lot of people do go for these because a lot of people are trying to save money. But at the same time, if you want to go to any kind of cosplay event or or con or anything, um, personally, I would not wear this helmet to any of those events. Um, it just it's just, it, it's, it's just not worth it. I mean, mostly because this helmet does not have any possible way to breathe. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Now, most, most of the um, other helmets, like Anakis and Eric's, they all have some kind of nose holes here. This helmet does not have any kind of nose hole. Okay, there's nowhere to breathe at all in here. Um, here is the inside of it. It's really hard for me to 
do this because it's all busted. Um, you can see the visor in there, the padding. Um, let's see if I can get a better uh, grasp on this thing without it really. No, I can't. Um, God dang, I just can't pull it. Nope, that doesn't work. Sorry, guys, I can't get it to hold up. Okay, so there's a, there's a look at the visor there. You can see there's a lot of padding. It's padded all the way through. Um, so it's very well padded. There's just nowhere to breathe. Absolutely nowhere to breathe. Um, just, just, you can't breathe in this helmet. Um, it's nearly impossible to breathe. Um, so, um, hold on, let me just put this down here so I can set this helmet back up because this helmet will collapse on me if I, um, <laughs> do that. But you can see this thing is falling apart. Um, the material is that bad. Um, but yeah, this is the model for Hobby Mold. So this one's very easily can break, um, as you can see. Um, but, um, you know, like I said, the padding's good. The paint job is good. Um, everything else about it, not very good. The mouth is completely wrong. Uh, way too fat. And, uh, the visor is also a little bit off as well um they've been making this helmet they've been probably making this design for a long time um and obviously it is an inaccuracy um i don't know why they make it like that but it's not it's not correct and um they apparently refuse to make it accurate they like to make it off accurate um, another good thing about these types of helmets is you can also get, they have, uh, light up ones as well, where the eyes, where the eyes light up. You can get ones where the, the, the eyes will light up and stuff. Um, and then the helmet itself has some kind of, like, glow or lighting as well, if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, but overall, this helmet is the helmet you want to avoid, Capital A V O I D avoid. Do not buy this helmet unless you are desperate. If you have no money and you really got to have a helmet and you want something better than some cheesy um, costume Halloween mask thing, okay, go with this. Because this is this is one step above some Halloween costume. So if you want to go to Costume City or whatever the whatever those costume places are, and you want to get a mask, um, this would be an upgrade from that. Um, however, for cosplaying, uh, stay away from it. <laughs> um, but again, it's it's up to you guys. That's just my advice. Um, some people do wear it to cosplay. It's your opinion. My opinion, though, just overall, I just stay away from it and wear something that's much better okay this is my anarchy helmet um this one is screen accurate this one is actually made from one of the original stunt cast molds from the series um so you got the mouth is actually the correct shape the right size it's not fat and wide um you see the visor is narrower and it dips down like it's supposed to right here and the detailing is is the amazing thing about Anarchy's helmets is the detail now I've seen helmets of his and some others in the past where the lines aren't as bold so it doesn't look like this this is a very int I've never seen it this detailed so it looks a little funny because the lines are so dark and bold a lot of the um, a lot of these helmets the lines aren't really there so seeing these thick lines it just looks a little funny but it's not inaccurate it's just really detailed <laughs> like so incredibly detailed it really stands out more than any, any of the other helmets but you know that could also be a good thing i mean look at these teeth i mean look at the outline of the teeth i mean you can't get any more detail than this i mean it's ridiculous I mean, it's just so detailed, and the, the lines along the eye there, and then, of course, you have the the top here that goes all the way up 
up here, up to here. Um, and it's just very well, I mean, even the mouth is outlined right here. You can see that the mouth has that black outline right here. And, uh, again, you can take a look at the other side here. So the sting thing starts, stops wobbling. <laughs> it has a tendency to wobble on me sometimes. Uh, this one has the, cl the clasp on the outside. These are spring-loaded ones. Um, they are spring-loaded. Oops. Uh, as you can see, they're, they're the spring-loaded ones. Um, and yeah, so this is his helmet here. Um, the, you will get a little bit of, um, wear and tear on the, on the clasps. The paint will come off. Um, it's just, there's nothing you can do to avoid that. Um, but the thing I like about this helmet so far is I've had it for a long time and along the sides, no nicks, nothing. It's, it's, it's still like almost perfect condition along the sides. No nicks, no scratches, nothing. The only... The only real nick anywhere in this helmet is right here, and it's barely visible. Like, barely visible. That's the only nick in this entire helmet. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, let me go ahead and, I go ahead and, uh, open it up. So, here's the inside. Um, you can kind of see it a little bit. Um, it's you can see the fiberglass in here. Here's the padding back here. They got padding here at the very back of the at the very back where your your neck is kind of, and then right here. And then, of course, at the top. And then, um, you have, hang on. You kind of have padding down in there. It's, it's really hard to see because it's dark. Um, and I don't want to break it or anything. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh. I, I just don't want to break it, so I, I can't really do a whole lot, but um, that is the that is the inside uh, to it. So, yeah. So, I guess if I stand over here, you can get a better look at the inside there. And then, um, on the side the uh it doesn't have the keys i mean it has the keys but there's like little like two of them and they're really easy to close them like some of them are you know and they just close up it's really really nice and easy and it the the, the helmet itself is really really it has some nice weight to it and everything it's really cool um but um yeah this helmet cost 400 and Twenty-five dollars. Um, I went through him directly um, for this. Um, 